Well, good morning, church family. It is a joy to be with you this morning. I hope this midweek finds you well. I hope it finds you feeling good and even feeling optimistic about where we're headed as a country, as a community, and certainly as a congregation, as a body of Christ. There are brighter days ahead, friends. There are brighter days in store for us, both now on this earth and well beyond it in the arms of our Lord for eternity. That is our hope that we cling to today. And it is our hope as we step in to God's good word together. I'm so glad you had the time to watch this video. I pray that more than my words or anything that I might have to say, that the Lord's word, his good word, speaks to your heart today. So without further ado, let's jump in with our good word this morning. Beginning in verse 1. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. Psalm 139, 1 through 6. So I have had the privilege and the pleasure of being involved in youth ministry for the better part of about eight years. And throughout that time, regardless of place or context in ministry, I found that there are three questions every young person wants to have answered for them, depending on where they are, whether that's at home, whether that's at school, and certainly whether that's at church. Those three questions are, do you see me? Do you hear me? And do I matter? And friends, within the context of ministry, our goal is to answer all three of those questions in and through the Lord Jesus Christ with a resounding yes. Yes, we see you. We notice when you're not around and we celebrate when you are are. We recognize when you might be feeling sad or upset, joyous or happy. We make space for you. We have a place for you. Jesus sees you. We see you. Yes, we hear you. We listen when you share your interests, your dreams, your favorite candy, and we Remember, it is our privilege to give you our time, our ear, and our heart when you're hurting and pray with you. Jesus hears you. We hear you. Yes, you matter. You are valuable, worthy, talented, and so loved. We cherish your contributions, your efforts, your gifts, and your presence with us, and we make sure you know that. You matter to Jesus. You matter to us. When a young person can answer yes to those three questions at church, that is the mark of a successful youth ministry. It's that kind of value warmth and care that emulates so beautifully the love of Jesus. And it's in our passage today that we see that kind of knowing, intimate love, that love that only comes from the Lord, expressed and personified in the words of the psalmist. Today, friends, I don't know what's on your heart, and I don't know what's burdening you, but I do know that the Lord sees it. He sees you. And friends, as you've cried out to God throughout this past year, never mind this past week, God has heard you. 
He has heard the cry of your heart. He has known where you have been, where you have gone, and he knows where you are going. And in his love and compassion for you, as our text reminds us, he goes before you. He goes with you. God sees you. He hears you. And friends, you matter to him today. You matter to your Lord, to your Savior. You have a place at his table, at his side, that he has prepared for you. He longs for you to share in his presence today. In the midst of your hurt, in the midst of your mess, he wants to lift you up. He wants to make you new. He wants you to know that he knows you, that he sees you hears you, and friends, that you matter to him, that he loves you with an unending, unyielding, relentless love that looks through our junk into our heart and says, yes, they are mine, and I cherish them. Friends, may the love of Jesus frame not only our efforts as a church family, not only our efforts in the context of church ministry, but in our efforts as unique, created, and beloved individuals whom the Lord God looks upon today and cherishes. Friends, he sees you. He hears you. You matter to Jesus. It is my pleasure and my privilege to pray with you over this video as we end this brief time in God's Word together. But friends, if there's anything burdening your heart today, if there's anything that you just need to process, to vent about, to talk about, that is why your pastors are here. We are here for you, to be with you, to abide with you, to pray with you, and to walk through God's healing, restorative, and good word with you. So before we pray, I just want to remind you, let us know if there's any way we can be helping you this week. We're in it together, friends. There are brighter days ahead. Let's go before the Lord together now. Father God, I thank you for this brief but meaningful time where it's spent in your word. God, spent in your love letter to us, Jesus, scripture that you blessed us with. Father, may we remember the ways in which you know us. May that give us security, reassurance, and hope. May it fill us with a powerful sense of your affections, your compassion, and your love for us, Lord, to recognize that you see us, that you hear us, and that we matter infinitely to you, such that you would give your very life for us on a cross, all that we might be able to come back home and be with you forever. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for those who have been able to watch this video, Father, and I pray even now that your spirit would touch their hearts and meet them right where they are, right as they need. God, we thank you for our church family. We pray as well, Lord, that you would be with each of them, those who are unable to watch this video or be with us in person who may feel isolated. God, would you bring them comfort? Would you bring them community? Would you remind them as well that they matter to their church family? and even more so to you. Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for your word. And we pray as we leave this digital space that you would go before us, go behind us, go in front of us, and go with us into this bright new day, new week, and new year. We ask all these things in your mighty name.